Hi, welcome to my introduction to Microsoft Windows video series. We're going to go through the Windows graphical user interface together and I'm going to introduce you to some key terms. One thing that I think you should know is that Windows is an operating system. It falls into the system software category and it's really an interface between you and the computer's hardware and the computer's software. After you boot your computer, the first screen that you'll see is the Windows lock screen. You can bypass that screen by pressing any key on your keyboard. That will take you to the login screen, and once you're at the login screen, you'll simply type in your password credentials. My dog just jumped up here with me. You can say hi to everybody. Let's get started. After you boot your computer and Windows loads, you'll see your desktop. This entire screen is your desktop. Over here to the left, you have icons. They are also referred to as desktop shortcuts. Down here in the lower left, I have my start button. If I click it one time, it opens my start menu and I can then see all the applications that are available to me. This area next to the start button is the type here to search. I can search for programs installed on my computer, files that I've saved, or I can search the internet. Next to that, I have my Talk to Cortana button. This, this is the Task View button. It lets me go through various virtual desktops that I create. These are my open programs. They are showing on my taskbar. Actually, this entire area down here is your taskbar. The main purpose of the taskbar is for multitasking and being able to switch back and forth between open programs. Over here to the right, you'll see this little arrow. If you click it, it will show the different programs that are running in the background. This is also called your notification area down here. Next to this arrow, I have my speakers where I can click on this and I can adjust my volume. If you want to mute your speakers, you can click on this button right here. It works as a toggle button. This right here is called the Action Center, and if you click it, it allows you to change settings on your computer very quickly. Right next to the Action Center, there's a little sliver of an area, and that is called your Show Desktop button. It's hard to see, actually, in this video, but if I have an open window and I want to quickly minimize that window, I can click the Show Desktop button and it will minimize everything that you have on your screen. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Notepad and show you what a window looks like. Once Notepad opens, you'll see the same common graphical user elements with almost every window. At the top, you'll have a title bar, you'll have a minimize, maximize and close. The minimize button will minimize the window down to the taskbar. If you want to pull it back up again, you click on it one time. If you want to maximize and take the full screen of the desktop, you click on that one time. You can restore it down by clicking on that button again, and then you would just go ahead and click the X to close out. Now you can move windows around by positioning your mouse on the title bar of the window and you can just move it around like this. So you put your, you put your uh, mouse on the title bar and then you click and hold and you drag it where you want to go, over to the left or over to the right. You can also resize windows. If you go to any border of the window, so any part of the border, you'll get a double-edged pointer and then you can resize your window that way. You can also go to a corner, get your double-edged pointer, and then you can resize that way.